initially my the reason why I was looking at a, a business was I was trying to I was trying to find a way to make money to buy more real estate. That was my initial purpose. You know, trying to buy real estate. I mean, there's there's ways you can do it without using your own money. Different type of loan approaches you can use, but a lot of times you got to jump through. You got to play by other people's rules for them to release the money to you. Not for like doing all that. I wanted to be able to find a way to have my own money so I could buy properties and have more passive income. Um, so then I, you know, I was just a, a number of different things all hit me at once as far as I was you know, riding around. And I would just notice like the Jackson Hewitt's, the H&R Blocks, they're o only open a couple months out of the year, but they're open every every year. Um, so that just made me think like, wow, some, they must be doing something right if you can only be open four months out of the year, but then every year you're still open. I don't I don't recall really seeing that many like dip, like new locations or locations that were closed. I mean, I wasn't really paying attention to it, but just the ones that I noticed year after year were still there. Then um, I was at a, tax software conference and somebody, a lady from Jackson Hewitt was trying to find new tax software for her uh, individual businesses in, in New York. She says she did over 1,500 returns. And I was saying like, wow, that's a lot. Um, I didn't even know what, the, what, what people would charge for taxes back then, but 1,500 just seemed like a lot to me. I asked my dad, I asked him, you know, what do he think? No, no, he asked me what were two recession-proof businesses I was thinking something to do with like entertainment, like bars, alcohol, um, you know, strip clubs, stuff like that. But he said, you know, uh, funeral homes and tax preparation places. They every year goes. You know, I mean, not every year, but well, every year for taxes and death, you know, something you can't avoid. So that made me kind of just start looking. And then uh, right around the same time, all this, all these different things that happened all at once. I got a. Um, at my parents' house, they got they had an article of black. Well, they had Black Enterprise on the cover. It said 100 best, the 25 best the franchises for minorities under 100,000. And I looked in there. It was only three tax places. One of them was Liberty Tax. They were pretty much the only place uh, tax place that I looked that I researched and I emailed and contacted. That actually got back to me promptly. Um, we had communication back and forth. I went down there to Virginia Beach, the, the headquarters, like what I saw, I met with the owner, John Hewitt, um, some of the other franchisees that were having success. And I mean, it, I can't say it was a no, no brainer because it really wasn't no brainer. I still wasn't a hundred percent sure, but at the same time, I figured what, what, what else do I have to lose? Um, since I've been doing this, like I said, I initially my, my initial reason was to get into buy property, but now I, I mean, it's actually a very fun, business um, it's probably the most the only thing I've ever done in my life is I tried a whole bunch of different things but the only thing I've ever done where I felt like it, where it doesn't necessarily feel like work is just like fun we're just we have some tasks in hand that we need to complete but it's not necessarily work it's more you know what we do here and it you know the stuff I've learned here since I've been been uh, in the Liberty Tax Service system and just you know just my whole I guess knowledge level skill set everything is just going up um, you know and I'm right now just trying to expand businesses help help people you know trying to develop like five people to really help expand the business model that we have also get more franchisees in the area um, and just the more liberty tax we have in the area the easier it is for us to reach our goal, well, John Hewitt's goal, and my, you know, I'm on the same accord with him to be the number one tax preparation business by the year 2020. Uh, here today for the uh, Fifth Street uh, community uh, uh, holiday affair that we have going on for the kids, but also just here to talk about the partnership that we have at Liberty Tax Service partnering with uh, Women Against Abuse. Uh, with something that is important in our community number one just to help community organizations a lot with a lot of the different uh, things going on in the economy the funding for different things that in the past just isn't there anymore so if liberty tax service if we can help uh you know number one raise awareness but at the same time make sure these organizations have the uh, co community support and additional funding to, to do activities and create awareness and uh, do things with prevention 
it's just uh, it's uh, important to us and we definitely are happy to partner with uh, Women Against Abuse. Women Against Abuse is the primary domestic violence services provider in the city of Philadelphia and um, we've been around for over 35 years providing emergency shelter, legal services, transitional housing services, um, community-based education, and um, work in the schools around prevention. Our mission is to end domestic violence and to provide quality, compassionate services for those who've experienced it. Um, with me today is Renee Norris-Jones. Uh, she's a survivor and advocate, and I'd like her to talk a little bit about um, her experience. So my experience with Women Against Abuse dates back to their 35 years. I was in their original shelter some 35 years ago. I am a survivor out 35 years. Um, I work with them now in returning the favor and them saving my life. Foot fetish shoes and apparel. And where are you located? 5020 North 5th Street. Yes. How long have you been in business? About five years now. Five years? Yes. And have, yeah. how long have you been coming to the detective? Oh, uh, they're about the same. Five years, yes. Yeah. Okay, can you talk about the service that you did here? Uh, I, get, I get good service. Um, the thing is beautiful. I get, uh, the main thing is I get money back. <laughs> <laughs> I get money back, so it's, it's all good. It's love. You know what I mean? Um, we're good professional people here, you know what I mean? Respectful, um, here to help, you know what I mean? Um, I recommend, you know, everybody to come here, you know, I'm coming, you know, I'm coming again myself in January. So, and you've been here five years? Yes. Awesome. And do you refer people? Oh yeah, I brought plenty of family members in, plenty of friends and stuff in. Um, I got more people coming in this year, you know what I mean? Um, Plus I get a cut, I get a little bonus out of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm loving that too, so you know. It's like I'm working for y'all too. I really appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> That's how we do. What I'm donating, you know what I mean? Get the women against abuse. I really appreciate okay. it. I, would say, I mean, the economy is hard right now, but I would say go for it, you know what I mean? Go for it, do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? Just like I said, hang in there, you know what I mean? It's gonna be up, it's gonna be down. Maybe you'll hit it right on the notch, you know what I mean? But I say do it. Go for it. Right, thank you. Anything you like to add? Nah, I mean, uh, Mr. Jones definitely said, said it. I mean, the time, it'll never be right if you, but I feel like, you know, being in business for yourself is the uh, best way to go. I heard a saying not too long ago to kind of hit me, hit home or, you know, impress me a lot, stood out, was I heard that, uh, uh, Ownership is the op opposite of slavery. Ownership is the opposite of slavery. So, you know, I'm always trying to get free. And if I got to own my own business to do that, that is what I'm going to do. So I mm -hmm. definitely recommend it because that's, you know, the, our, our country was built for uh, small, for business owners and married individuals. So, you know, I'm not in that married arena yet, but you know, I'm definitely uh, grasping this business thing. So, oh, how do y'all feel about your, your family owning their own shoe store? It's good. It's good. Different, different, different issues, different issues that concern. I'm finding, I'm so, finding many, so many different mentalities. Different mentality it, it, it seems hard. It seems challenging. I don't say hard because only things hard.